game. Eo's gonna kill you. Oh, fuck. Good week. Good week. Oh, that's a good German suplex. She really flexed out. Stop. Actually, Japan. She fell really hard. I wish the match wasn't so short. Oh yeah, Rise and Thunder, Raiden. Against a... Uh, just acting member. People were cheering Shirai. Or should we be cheered outside of Florida? We'll see how. Yo. Oh, like Asuka. Bianca. Not who, not Bianca. Shayla is her. Ray Ripley. I don't know if she could get a good match out of Ripley. Her boing Shirai's English. Ripley got another haircut. I don't think Ripley's actually that tall. Just Shirai's probably that short. But I don't know. Those ropes are pretty high, I guess. I don't know if this is a good matchup. Rhea, Rio, Rhea, Rio. Bianca vs. Rhea next week. That's a good setup. I actually said that. Eddie no stuff. All right, Bert Baker vs. Riho. That was scared. that was announced last week. Two. Oh, she dug the clothesline into a roll up. Really girly roll up. Let's go for the roll up again. I guess Bird Baker. Is that does she have a mic? She doesn't have a mic. This is Nigel McGuinness. Killian Dane and uh, Carolina Caveman. Who's like a Sheeta, is it? Who's that? Who's that? Who else is that guy? I, I, they might want to name him.
But uh, are you Taiwanese? He doesn't really have much to say. I'll tell you that much. No Mandarin. Regal. Hot NXT lady. Oh, King Dream. Boo. So you're not super next week. Well, they're probably going to show something. Could have been that. Being right on the speed error. I guess this was in the USB. Let's go for the Nakamura move. Ducks. What the corner was a little bit hard. The D2 for our call, the discus close line. The, the bank statement. Try to go for the mandible claw. Two, three. Here you saw the roll up. Push it back. <laughs> At least it was a real match on like uh at least this was a real match on like, on like the squash match before. It's really made it up for it. And they announced it before. I just thought, they should have announced it during the show. on commercial. Let me check uh, USA. Because my dad's watching the Knicks game. Oh, They're both in commercials. Pizzas versus Spectrum Mobile. The Wednesday Night Wars. Marco's Pizza. Marco's Pizza, that's very interesting. Hot Pockets. Guy who isn't... Not Ryan Filthy. The fucking guy from Drive. I forgot his name. Mr. Pot, 10 minute chicken noodles. Chicken tacos. That's a good use of that pot. All right, going to see chats.
Oh, it looks huge. Oh, the package pile driver by Pentagon. Is Daniel's really injured? Keep playing the Judas fame. There we go. They're actually promoting Darby Allen versus Chris Jericho. Uh, it was good that they showed the full penal lady this week in the NXT, so that shows that they can have any talent too. Bishop Bros versus Jurassic Express. Keith Lee versus. Oh, I like oh I like the the water moving thing. Like in Jurassic Park. Maybe they're doing it to the, the sh to promote Scorpio Sky's in ring ability, but that was a good demonstration of the Scorpio Sky's ability. I guess SCU can come out of this match. But I would not interfere in this match because I would rather Pentagon and what's his name. Well, I would see. No, they're not going to interfere because they're setting up SCU versus Lucha Bros. Okay, I see why they do that. It's a little bit, like, smarky to figure out, but, like, at least there's someone that makes sense. Pentagon has some, like, nice face paint on him. Sandra Memories agrees. Interruption. Keith Lee versus uh, this other guy. Oh, Jai Jack. Keith Lee is big. It's really like a small submission machine. I'd like to see Keith Lee versus Walter. I bet Walter is a little bit has more presence. Keith Lee looks sort of like a goofy guy. He's not like that character-wise, probably, but just how he looks sort of looks goofy. Doctor Sleep looks phenomenal. I gotta clip this because uh, Doctor Sleep looks like a really good follow-up to The Shining. They had the, they shot it in the actual Overlook Hotel old location, which is pretty cool, and they drew references to the old film and the twins. And redrum, and it's just and the axe by Jack Nicholson. It looks like it's going to be really good. Um, 
I don't know who's directing it. It could be like something like Luster, like uh, a chapter two that came out, but we shall see. Either way, what's the name of making a lot of money? So Die Jackets, this is clothesline with Keith Lee. Let me put the mic. Up. Let me get to the bottom one because I don't. I'm just going on the history between Die Jacket and Reveal. I just believe he's older. Ah, oh, stupid commercial. Why would they put a commercial in the... Ooh, when NXT is having a commercial. Throw me a dog. Looks like there's no one's booing Pentagon. So apparently it was not LAX. It was LAX who jumped them, not Blue Bros. <laughs> That's a legal maneuver, sir. Foot in the glove of the number fan. Nero. Oh, Jungle Boy's biting him. Truck Ch slam. All right, there's Jungle Boy and there's the other guy who looks like Jungle Boy. Phoenix. I thought it was going to be Luchasaurus. Oh, Marco, Marco, what, whatever his name is. Oh, I just got sort of screwing up. I guess it's better than not using usual source. I think it's gonna be a curb stop. It was not a clean tag. He screwed it up. <laughs> wow, that was a good six one nine. German suplex by Luke Perry Jr.
and watch the. It was a pretty exciting match compared to the slow, slower pace of the other match with the commercial and next T. Dijak was put inside out. I'm gonna go back to NXT because, like, I got the AEW recap later anyway. Is that DDP? Scissor kick. I'm just gonna go for the choke slam. My got him. One, two, kick out. I like Apollo Cruz. Oh, he crossed himself and then used his balls to like springboard himself. So he's gonna go for the package pile driver. For the, well, that's a super bomb. There you go. He kicked out. Why would he kick out? Crap on his leg. He flees on the top rope. Big splash on Dijak's arm. Good, I can watch the Keith Lee match now. Go for a super power bomb. I don't. It was super like around me, like super sold that out. Someone's gonna come in the ring, I guess. He like got it was sort of like an awesome bomb, or sort of like a what do you call it? Last ride into an awesome bomb, <laughs> into a Bautista bomb, into him like spinning all over the ring. He's selling him knocked out. I won't let him out of the ring, yeah, let him cut out. So it reminds me of a uh, Rich Swan's acting part of Guys Lane. Should have a jobber match, and then they're really extending it in AEW. I think there's gonna be less commercials when it's on uh, replay. Dijak elbowed out of the Dead Valley Driver, you've always knocked out before. Goes for a running forearm. Dijak spin discus big boot. What time did Dijak's move was like the go to sleep or something? I'm trying to remember from his ROH days. A good match. Big boot to Keith Lee. Nine o'clock. Did you ever put like a title match in the middle? It's probably a tie, but I still go more towards the Lucha Bros size of the match. Even though like it should have been like a, should have been like a. Just one arm to grab him by the crotch and then from across the ring into a super kick. Keep flew with the punches to the abdomen. Oh, 
Purpose lock, elbow, a kick in the elbow, DDT move for die jack. No, he had them in the. Oh, he reversed into the suplex. Capture DDT. Keefley. Looks for it. Oh, vertical suplex. Uh, die jack tried to tease getting out of it. Like Keefley. Looks like he's going to pick it back up. Suplex on him anyway. The big tall guy. It'd be really bad if Lucha Bros like lost the match. So it was the Lucha Bros. It was a pretty good sense of flip. I was hoping the sense of flip. Training wizard. Avoid the forearm. It's a good rally. I would do it, but the match is a little bit too long. The Stino almost. It was sloppy, but at least he did the move safely. That was a, instead of a double stop, it was the knees to the back. That's very dangerous. Keep fleeing into a hurricane run in the back. I don't know. It's very sloppy too. It, it should. It should have been. I should. I think I should have saved that one. That would be a major upset. I just tries to go for a hurricane rod, which is very slow. I keep at least picking him up. I go for a bus and grab. Pentagon driver. Sure you can. <laughs> that is not a real tag. A dispute era. This is going after Keith Lee. Arctic Strong. He's going to snap his arm. I don't think he really snapped it. You go say something about strong. That was a two count. That's good for them. This is a good place in Florida. Or J Matt Riddle, yes. Next. The tags don't really matter anyway. But it's like you can't tag him when he's inside the ring. Oxley, Pac, Page, and Omega. That's a pretty good match. 
pretty loud match, yeah. The ring enters, let's go back to NXT. Commercial. Gonna go to the bathroom, see you guys later. Cut this up so I can, uh... Can I put it at... Advertisement? You can save this to files, that's pretty interesting.